there's a cash flow overview, which basically gives you a list of all the balances across all the banks. But these are not these are not the registered balances. These are the online balances. Okay. So the difference between looking at a balance sheet, for example, which is going to give you your registered balance, is this gives you an idea of all the money that's physically in your bank accounts at the at the moment. You will also it would also project the money that's coming in based on open invoices and the money that's going out based on bills. When it comes to cash flow pl planning, most people don't create all their bills for the next two months, so it would be impossible for QuickBooks to know what is your money coming out. Money coming in with invoices, most people are really, really good at creating those invoices for future money cash flow in, but not so good about uh, budgeting cash flow out. So what they did is they did something called balance projections. It's available, all, it's available in all versions of QuickBooks Online, which is awesome. And what cash flow projections does is they will look at, they will look at your historical expenditure and it will try to predict, it will try to predict which transactions might come in the future. Again, things that you don't have a bill for, right? So things you don't have a bill for. So it's going to create what may come in the future, again, based on history. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and open that up just so you can see it. So I'm going to go into cash flow and go into overview. And this is uh, all the bank accounts that are connected. So these are all the balances across all, again, not the register balances, all the credit card balances, all the loan balances. Here's the money in and money out projection, again, based on actual invoices, based on actual bills. But you go here with this planner. And we're going to scroll down. And you see here it says uh, coming up. So these are all the ones that QuickBooks is projecting. None of these are in your register. QuickBooks is projecting that this is going to happen because every month it's been happening. So QuickBooks is going to create this whole slew of projected transactions in the future, which you can leave, you can edit, or you can remove. So QuickBooks will, tr again, try to guess what your cash flow is and try to guess maybe when you could run out of cash. Other thing you can do is here where it says overdue transactions, so anything that's overdue, you will go to update and tell it when you think these invoices are going to come due or these bills. So for example, I think this invoice will be paid May 13th. And I think that this bill, I will pay it. This is only for overdue, again, because it doesn't have a due date to go by. So I'm going to pay this on May 3rd. Okay, something like that. Then I click on done. So it takes that and then it puts it down into my projected expenses. That's what it does. So, so your, so your, um, so your cash flow graph uh, can be can be updated. For example, let's say I'm gonna spend, a, let's say four hundred dollars next, four hundred thousand dollars next week on April thirtieth on my pension, for example. So I'm gonna type here pension. There's no list of vendors or anything. This is again, this is just estimation. I'm gonna put money out, and basically I'm creating a planned transaction only for cash flow planning. Click on save and then see what happens. Then it tells me right here, look, you're going to have a cash flow problem on this day because you're going to be short on cash. And then I can come in there and add an event. And then I think that on, let's say, May 13th, it, I'll put here customer A. Again, no drop down list. You don't have to be precise. This is just guesswork, really. Let's say I want to receive $390,000 from a customer. It's going to be money in. I click on save. And there you go, my cash flow projection gets okay, saved. Again, it's as scientific as it could be, you know, when it comes to projection, that's always going to be guesswork. But you can use um, actual numbers, right? And you don't have to do this in, in Excel, in a spreadsheet. You can use real transactions. You can use um, guest transactions based on historical expense. And you can use uh, some of the ones that you're projecting in here. So pretty cool. You can export this. To Excel as well. So if you want to kind of see your cash flow report, you get to see the graph. This is the current balance in the bank. You get to see the graph and it tells you exactly when, which month you're projecting to have a cash flow issue. If you do, if you do take your time and do this and go through this, you can provide amazing cash flow reports. 
how you can create amazing cash flow reports. And that's, again, available for all users of QuickBooks. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. Um, good job into it, uh, doing that. And this is probably just the beginning. I think it's something really exciting to look forward to.